and delighted to have the First Minister of Wales, but it's not for the first time. I think he's addressed about half of all the conferences we've done here. But I rather had a suspicion that he had something up his sleeve by way of a positive announcement, and he didn't disappoint us. Well, I'm setting up a strategic energy group, which I will be chairing, and that uh, group will look at ways of removing unnecessary uh, obstacles to development and to facilitate development, uh, helping, of course, the Welsh economy. And, of course, uh, we're supporting marine energy with a £1.6 million funding uh, programme in order to develop uh, what we think is a superb resource for Wales. It's great to hear making all those kind of announcements, because what it proves is, is Wales is ready to move towards a sustainable, low-carbon economy. And I think it gives a real boost to the conference and to everybody that's attending to feel that the Welsh Government understands the issues that there are and is actually doing something. I think for the first time the First Minister has come up with, with a speech which suggests that he's really taken on board the concerns of the industry. I think most people would accept that the biggest challenge is probably the delays in the planning consent process. I remember speaking to consultees sort of maybe four years ago and they said I don't understand why developers can't work together but now since you know more involvement with RUK developers have come together. And the group has done a lot for developers to work collaboratively to try and resolve those issues. Um, coming up with a strategic transport plan, is, um, going through and gaining acceptance from consultees. It's very important because what it does is bring together a number of the individual developers to be able to speak with the common voice to share some of that best practice and it enables some of that strategic liaison with kind of the organisations like Natural Resources Wales Value. Consents are coming through to build wind farms, but then will there be sufficient grid capacity to get that electricity out of Wales and onto the national grid? Events like this are a great opportunity for us to get a steer really on, on industry mood and also the political mood. And I think without RUK and the conferences like this, we would, you know, we wouldn't have that. We're very, very proud to be a key sponsor for this event today. It's a really good conduit for everybody in the in the, in the sector to come together, swap ideas, do business together, which leads to jobs, growth and wealth. I think the reason that people keep coming back to events like this is because you can do deals, you can get to know people. Everywhere you look in a conference like this, you see people talking to, together in groups, sharing information and, uh, and enjoying themselves. And I think that's really what the, the purpose of the conference is.